Palos Preserves in Southwest Cook County has a lot to offer. Trails for hiking and biking and hills, a rare commodity for Chicago. But now the preserves are known for another feature only available after sunset when the gates close. It's darkness. WTTW news reporter Patty Wetley joins us now with more. So Patty, Palos Preserves gets dark, uh, so dark that it's received a new designation from the International Dark Sky Association, which we will come back to in a minute. But first, tell us what is this designation and how unique is it? Yeah, it is now an official urban night sky place. It's one of only three places in the entire world with that designation. And what that means is that it's a place where you can find an authentic nighttime experience, even in the midst of a lot of artificial light, which obviously comes from Chicago. So it's not saying that it's like as dark as some place in the wilderness or Alaska, but it is that according to folks at the Adler Planetarium, a thousand times a thousand times less light than downtown Chicago. So considerably darker and you can see four times as many stars in the Palos Preserves as you can in the city. Oh, wow. OK, so let's let's talk about the International Dark Sky Association, because it sounds like something out of a, a superhero movie. Right. Uh, what is it? It is an organization that promotes the conservation of dark skies. So thinking of darkness and dark skies as being as rare as, as some habitats. So they really advocate against light pollution. And for the forest preserves, uh, you know, that means that they've implemented a lot of indoor and outdoor lighting things that kind of dim the impact um, from an ecological standpoint. It's so important because we know um, how birds migrating can be impacted by so much artificial light. It throws off animals, mating and feeding habits. Humans are affected by it. Our rhythms get thrown off by so much light pollution and artificial light. So really what the forest preserves and the International Dark Sky Association is doing is trying to tamp that down and bring back the darkness. Okay, so before we let you go, Patty, if one wanted to visit these oh, newly right. certified dark skies, because the park yes. is closed, how would one do that? Yes, ironically, the preserve does close at sunset, but, you know, they do have campgrounds there. So you can have a complete immersion overnight experience in the dark. And the preserves are also going to partner with Adler Planetarium on bringing some dark sky activities to the park, like sky gazing. So we can see some of those meteors I'm always telling you about and we can never see in the city. All right. Well, and we expect you to report back. Uh, <laughs> if you go out on that experience, <laughs> Patty Wetley, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Brandis. And you can read Patty's full story on our website, wttw.com/news.